What's going on guys? This is Eddie K over at Colton RV. And I'm super excited to show you a brand new product we just started carrying. This is gonna be the Lance 2075. We just started carrying them. They come all the way out from California. And I'm super excited to show it to you. All right, so we'll take a walk around the outside of this Lance first on this nice 80 degree day, clearly. So up in the front here, you're gonna get a nice big storage compartment with a rollout slide tray. Plenty of room for your gear. You can throw it on there. You won't have to crawl in there to get it. It comes right out. So on the Lance, you're gonna have three propane containers, all 20 pounds. You're gonna have two battery spots, and both of those are gonna be on a slide tray as well. So you can pull that battery right out, change the cables on it, take that one out, put a new one in, super easy to do. On the front, you're gonna have not only a power tongue jack, but you're also gonna have power jacks all the way around. Um, so you're not gonna have to crank any jacks down, push a button, everything goes down for you. And then you'll notice also on the front of this Lance, it's a little covered in snow right now, but you're gonna have a nice big front window. Um, that's the one thing I really like about the Lances. Their windows are huge. Every single window opens, lets a lot of light on in the inside of the coach. So we're gonna see that once we get inside, um, but we'll keep going around here. On this side, you are actually going to have a spot for a potential generator if you wanted to. Um, so you could put a, a small Cummins Onan generator in there that will run off propane. Um, or you can leave it uh, empty like this and just use it as a storage spot. Um, but it is a metal container, so you don't really have to worry about getting anything dirty inside. It will hose right out. Along the side, you're going to get another storage container down here. Um, this is going to be a metal one as well. Great for a sewer hose. Just throw that sucker in there. Um, and all of these compartments too are going to be on um, the magnetic latch system. So when you open that up, it just sticks right to the side of the coach. You don't have to worry about breaking a latch, it coming down on you, anything like that. Um, as we move down, you're going to have really, really nice rims. Um, they're going to be aluminum rims on this, which most travel trailers don't actually give you. And it's also going to have a road armor suspension. Um, on a travel trailer that's pretty big, you don't see that a lot of the time. A lot of the time it's just a leaf spring, no name suspension. And then as we move down, you're gonna see more storage on the outside. And this trailer has a lot, a lot of storage for, for being a 20 foot trailer. So we have an outdoor shower location here. Um, you do have hot and cold water and then your hose just pulls right out. Great for washing off, you know, your feet, dogs, bikes, grandkids, whatever you gotta do. On the back of the Lance, you're gonna see we have another big storage compartment here. And not only is this storage, but it's also going to be a slide-out kitchen. So on here, you're going to have your grill with a sink, a little bit of storage for utensils. And this is actually going to be under an awning. So this awning will come right out over the top of the kitchen. Um, and I'll actually put that out right now and show you how that goes. Now all your awnings on the Lance are gonna be armless awnings and they are gonna have a wind sensor on them. But you'll see that coming out there. Keeps you covered when you're working. And it does actually have a light in it as well. So if you're out here cooking at night or if you just wanna light up your camper, um, you know, and have, have a good party spot, this is where you're gonna do it. So you have an awning on the back, an awning on the side. Um, and as you look up there, you're also gonna see a backup camera. That's gonna come standard on the Lance. Now, not only are you gonna have the grill in the sink, but you're also gonna have an electric fridge slash cooler. And look at this, comes out to a whole workstation. Nice workstation here, prep station to get anything ready that you wanna cook. And just all around cool hangout spot. So we're about to head into this Lance 2075. One more thing I wanna show you on the outside though before we head in are the stairs on this. So it's not your traditional travel trailer type stairs. These are actually gonna fold into the coach they have legs on the bottom to be very stable, and they even have, when you're walking up, a safety step so your foot can't slip off the back of the step. How cool is that? All right, guys, now we're inside of this Lance 2075, um, and I'm actually, I'm sitting at the dinette right now, and uh, you can see that they really take good advantage of the space in here. Um, I have plenty of room. We could easily fit four people here if we wanted to, 
and we even have some some space back here to put uh, games or drinks or anything like that uh, plenty of windows all the way around and the really cool thing about these windows are so they're acrylic and they they're gonna bevel all the way open I'll show you up in the bedroom when we get up there um, but the neat thing about them is when you pulled from the top you're gonna get your screen and when you pull from the bottom you're gonna get your nightshade so it's super, super convenient, and you're not always going to have a screen blocking your view. Uh, I mean, you can see out these windows perfectly clear, and we have a great view of the, uh, of the lot right now and all the snow, but <laughs> hopefully you'll be at the lake or somewhere warm. So as we'll move back, you'll see plenty of cabinets all the way around. They are going to be lit cabinets as well. And then the really nice thing, too, is if you take a look, the hinges on these, they're, they're really a residential style. Um, so you're gonna get a shelf in every cabinet. They're all residential style hinges. They're not gonna slam shut on your head. And they really just do a great job of taking advantage of the space that they have. And they even give you some nice ones on the side. And again, every single cabinet's gonna be lit on, on the inside. So if you are going through here at night, you don't need the little flashlight on your phone or or the keychain with the light on it, you can just open them up and, and you'll be able to see in there. Um, as we move back, you'll see, you do have a spot here for, for some wine, some cups, anything like that. Um, anything that you don't want sliding around, you just put it in there and it'll go into the holes. And you'll also see, we have part of our controls over here. So up top, we have our JBL sound system. You're gonna get two speakers on the inside and you're gonna get two speakers on the outside. So you're gonna have really good sound quality. You can control every zone independently. AM, FM, Bluetooth, it'll do pretty much everything you want it to do. Um, you're even gonna have some import, uh, input ports down here. Um, below that, this is gonna be the control for your subwoofer. So if you want it off, you can leave it off or you can give it a little click and it'll power on for you. And then on the wall, you're gonna have your Truma um, control panel. So this is going to have a tankless hot water heater to it. That's where you're going to control everything for that system. It's super easy to use. Um, you either put it on hot or eco and it'll just extend the, uh, the amount of time you can be out and, and having fun. So right here is going to be the brains of the operation. This is going to be your control system for the lance. Um, it's called the in command system. It's super simple to use. You turn it on, you put in your customized passcode. Mine's one, two, three, four. Don't tell anybody. Um, and you can control your HVAC, so your heating and your air conditioning, your lights, your awnings, all the jacks, and you also have an additional settings button um, that'll just allow you to control what the panel looks like. Um, along with that, it's also going to have your tank levels on it. So it's going to tell you where your black tank is, where your gray tank is, and how full your fresh tank is. Um, but that's going to control everything for you on there. Um, and again, you can customize it, the color, how you want it to look to your eye. Uh, but a super cool system allows you to control everything in one central spot so you don't have switches all over the coach. Uh, makes it super simple. So as we're moving back to the kitchen of the Lance, um, again, they're just really maximizing the space that they, they have to work with here. Um, so you're going to have your sink here. It is going to be a, a one bowl sink, two burner cooktop with a glass cover so you can use that for counter space when you're not cooking. And the really cool thing that I want to point out here is this is all Corian. So this is a solid surface countertop in a travel trailer. I can't tell you the last time I saw that. Um, I can't tell you the last time I saw this quality in a travel trailer. Um, these things are just amazing. They're built very, very well. These have almost more motorhome style cabinets to them. And they even give you a microwave and they tuck that away so it's out of view for you. Um, but again, just maximizing the space that they have. So plenty of room to do whatever you want to do inside of that. And then as we move down, nice big drawer for pots and pans, another drawer for silverware, towels, um, paper plates, anything like that, anything you want to bring with you. And then behind us here, we're going to have your TV. Um, so this TV is going to be on a swivel mount, so you can watch it from the dinette. It'll pop out, come out to the middle. Everybody can see it if you want to sit around and watch movies if it's raining out at the campsite or if you're just getting all settled in for the night. As we keep moving back, we'll point out the bathroom to you. So you're going to have a nice big bathroom, porcelain toilet, 
And the really neat thing is if we can get into that shower and take a peek is there's this thing, coach actually has a shower miser on it. Um, now what your shower miser is going to do is that's going to recycle some water to the fresh tank. So if you are dry camping and you have limited supply right there, um, instead of wasting one, two, three gallons waiting for that water to get hot, you turn the knob that's right here. You'll turn it into the up position. This blue right here will actually turn white when the water gets hot. Once it's hot, turn it to the down position and then turn on your faucet. What this does is this is actually gonna recycle that water back to the fresh water tank. So you're not losing a gallon, two gallon, three gallons waiting for that water to get hot. You're gonna have hot water. You'll know it's hot when that turns white. And then, uh, and then you can just go along with your day. So as we move back in the Lance, uh, you're gonna notice the refrigerator looks a little bit different here. This is gonna be a 12 volt refrigerator. Um, so kind of like I said before, Lance does a great job at maximizing not only the storage, um, but also the capabilities of going off the grid. Um, so with the three propane tanks that you have and the two batteries, they're also going to give you a solar panel. You're going to get the King Wi-Fi system, so you can have Wi-Fi wherever you're going. And you're going to get a 12-volt fridge. So with the solar panels and the two batteries, you can run this fridge for a very long time. So if you are off the grid with no generator and no power plugins besides the truck, that solar panel is going to trickle charge those two batteries and run this refrigerator along with your lights, along with your hot water, along with your furnace. So a cool, super cool system, um, allows you to go off, off grid for extended periods of time, really get out there, experience, you know, everything you want to see out in the, out in the wild. <laughs> so as we move back, now we're in the bedroom area. This bedroom is absolutely huge. Um, plenty of room to move around, put clothes in, um, just get ready for the day. You are going to get a queen size mattress here. And each side is going to have their own closet with a rod so you can hang some clothes up. And you kind of see that big window I was talking about earlier. I mean, it just lets a lot of light in here. That window will actually open. So like I said earlier, all the windows in this lance open. And that's kind of something I wanted to show here too. It's a super easy system to do. You turn your latches. You have two shocks on each side that you tighten once you get it to the position that you want. But this window actually opens all the way up. So super cool to do. And now every window in the lance as well is going to have not only the screen, but also the nightshade. So blackout shades, standard, screens are standard, but it's a super cool system and it just gives you a really nice view of what's going on outside your coach. So now on the other side of the bedroom here, you're gonna notice we have plugs on both sides of the bed. So if you have phones, um, anything you need to charge up, iPads, laptops, a CPAP machine, anything like that, you have a, a plug on each side. This Go Power right here is a battery monitor system and it also, also tells you what uh, your solar power is coming into the coach. Um, so it gives you a kind of, uh, you know, 30,000 foot view of what's going on with your power and, and how much time you got left um, on those batteries. And also, under the bed here, you are going to get quite a bit of storage. You'll notice we have a ladder and a box. So on the 2075, because you have that big window in the back, they could not put a permanent ladder on there. So what they give you instead is this really cool Thule system. And what this does is it latches on the side of the coach. You can get up onto the roof um, and clean it, clean your solar panels. Or, which we couldn't see because of all the snow up there, there is actually a cargo rack up top that you can put uh, kayaks, anything like that up there. Um, and that is all adjustable to whatever size you need. Um, so it's a really cool system. Uh, that ladder will get you up there. But it's a telescoping ladder, gets really small, stores away, super easy. Thank you guys so much for sticking around watching the video on this Lance 2075. Um, we have two models currently on the lot, this guy right here, and we also have a slide model. Um, they are available and they are going to be on the website as well. So take a, take a visit to our website, coltonrv.com, or give us a call for more information.